Hello everybody, you join me on my morning commute across the lawn to the shed where I'm going to start as I do on a lot of mornings when I'm trying to write on music and is sitting down at the piano. What is it about pianos that we find so inspiring? I'm sure the same is true for those of you who are guitarists, but there's just something about that piano which sits in the corner of the room, the one with which you're so familiar. It just is like an old friend. And when you sit down to write a piece of music or just to mess about, there's a sort of bond which goes on. And we really love those pianos with which we're so familiar. Unfortunately, the sad truth is sometimes when you come to record them, they don't sound as good recorded as they did in your imagination. And trying to keep the thing in tune, ooh, you don't want to see what that just said. Um, ooh, it's miles off, is quite a challenge. So this is why we need great piano libraries, sample pianos and things like that. And it just so happens that today, um, my, one of my favorite libraries, which is Pianotech, um, have just released really interesting new update. Let's take a look. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I reveal to you the wonder that is Pianotech 7. Here we go. There's the old one, and here is the brand new one. Okay. So, what's new in this new edition? Let me just say a word before we start really getting into this. Oh, I just cut away just when you were going to see the interface okay um, before we really dig in this is sample modeling okay sample modeling is a completely different way of producing uh, uh, a, a reproduce, reproduction of instrument it's not sampling um, so if you're going to sample a piano you'd record every single note uh, loads and loads of um, velocities and you'd have loads of micropositions and it would run to hundreds of gigabytes and oh my goodness it's so big but it sounds so wonderful okay sample modeling does it differently it analyzes the sound in the most intricate details and then rebuilds it using an algorithm so it's actually really really small and it's really really light in terms of um, how much stress it puts on your CPU it's sort of whew, I'm hardly there that's how it works. It really does. But it also means you can do all kinds of uh, really fancy stuff. Let me make this interface uh, very large. Then you can see it more clearly. Okay, look. You know, so hammer hardness. Okay, You could, you could adjust the soundboard and the kind of strength of the sympathetic resonance. The strength of the sympathetic resonance! Okay, but it's a really interesting approach and there's, they've now really dug in and they've worked out some interesting stuff they can do which they weren't doing before and we'll come on to that in a second. Okay, so look, um, here, here's the, one of the new instruments that comes with this which is the uh, Grand Steinway D from New York. You see where it comes from makes a difference. It's not the Hamburg one, this is the New York one and you can tell the difference. You really can tell the difference. Okay, so here we go, it goes like this. It's great. Sounds nice. Look, you get a whole load of different types of them. Here we go. Look, what, what these are. This is the equivalent. Um, these different settings are the equivalent of mic positions, but they're not mic positions. So if we have close mic, okay. Ooh. It's a Michael Giacchino sound. I like that. Okay, so, right. This is quite a powerful instrument and I'm rather enjoying playing this. Now look, you get with the Pro Big Bundle Everything In edition, you get more than just every piano you've ever heard of, uprights. You get electric pianos, D D6 clarinet, etc. Oh, oh my God. Did you see how bright that is? That's ridiculous. That is the brightest interface I've ever seen. 
Oh, that's better. Now I can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to keep my pink sunglasses on throughout the rest of this. Okay, so you've got the D6 clavinet. You've got all this other stuff. You've got vibraphone, celeste, glockenspiel, toy piano, kalimba, marimba, xylophone, steel drum. What these things have got in common, they all have that kind of um, struck uh, tonal sound. So if you think about it, you know, if you're, if, you, if you're good at building a piano sound, maybe you're quite good at building a kalimba sound. So as you go through this, as you're looking through the list of instruments here, okay, constant harps. You see, if you think about it, harp is not that far away from a piano in terms. And then there's the Kremskeg, Kremsek edition, where you get things like, what was it? Where's this? There's they got a, a, a wacky square thing. Uh, look, these are all, what does a piano sound, what would a piano have sounded like in 1796? Oh, not that different to a piano today. Just older. Yeah, likely. Okay, so look. Now, there is... I can't keep that up. Um, there is a couple of really interesting developments, and we're going to write a piece with these uh, interesting developments. And follow me through this, because this is where it gets quite interesting. Okay, here's the problem for people who write, particularly film music and things like that, that we tend to start on... Uh, the piano, because you think, oh, I'm just going to come up with a little idea, then I'm going to arrange it in a lot of... No, nobody ever goes on to arrange it. The, the piano remains front and centre of what you do. And there's a good reason for that, because it just sounds nice. Now, imagine if there was a really cool way of sort of keeping the piano sound, but making it a bit more original. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is what they've managed to do. Look... Tucked away up here, there is a little thing called Morph and Layers. It sounds like a sort of 70s sci-fi comedy. Morph and Layers 2. Uh, let's, I'll show you how this works. It's pretty, okay. So here we go. So there's a Broadwood, there's a 1795 Broadwood. And there is a humanized uh, vibrato, okay. So if I have all Broadwood. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> you can actually morph the sound from vibraphone to antique Broadwood. And that is because it's sample modeled, because you can adapt the algorithm. Now, here's a cool thing you can do. Okay, follow me through this team. If you right click on this little thing here, okay. Then you go to Assign MIDI Event. Then you reach down for your funky blue light slider thing on your keyboard or whatever else. And look what happens. You could, in real time, go. That's a nice sound. It's better than... And it's better than... It's... Yeah. Okay, I tell you what. Let's hit play. Or better still, record. Because play wouldn't be very much fun right now. Okay, that's our piece. Thank you very much. Good night. No, of course not. It's not the entire piece, but it's a decent start. Um, so, hang on. Let me just get me bits and pieces going here. Um, that's I, I actually like that. Hang on, I'm going to get the steam deck up. Get me there. Go. Get me little buttons up. Say hello, buttons. Hello, buttons. Okay. So, am I going to leave it like that, or am I going to quantize it? Oh. Just can't help quantizing things. Quantize mad. Is it going to work now? OK, 
Okay, I need to adjust the... Uh, let's dive in. Where are you? Cheeky sustain pedal. There you go. You see, I, I just chopped the cheeky sustain pedal off when I did my inadvertent little edit. So we're going to paint one in. And then we're going to take... Oh, no, there, there, there you go. It does run all to the way there. Now it's going to be sounding even greater. Even greater, greater. That's better. Right. Duplicate track. And uh, now we're going to add another one. And we're going to sh I'm going to show you how you can actually create an entire piece just out of Piano Tech 7 without going anywhere near anything else because it's got lots of cool stuff going on in here. Come in here. Right. That's the morph. Now we're going to change this. We're going to go into a different one. We're going to add to this. Uh, what am I going to add to this? Celtic harp? How about a sweet Celtic harp? So it's, we're playing. So what am I going to do? Where am I going with this idea, guy? You only know when you play it. How about, I don't know, humanized marimba? Um, not yet. Not yet. There will come a point. Hand pan. Okay, I like that. Thank you very much. Good night. No, I've done that one. Um, let's... Uh, okay, I'm going to cut, have them both coming in at the same time at the moment, but we may well change our mind on that. And then I'm just going to add another one. Uh, we're going to add another one. We haven't even got to a proper, pia proper piano. We haven't got to a normal piano yet. Let's try layers. Okay, there. So we're going to start with... Uh, what am I going to start with? Celesta. Original Celesta. And I'm going to layer it with um, Toy Piano. Oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, oh, yes, please. Actually, I want... I want Celeste with just a touch of Toy Piano. <laughs> I can have Celeste with just a touch of toy piano. I quite, I, okay. I'm easily amused. Okay. I'm going to have to move that out of the way because I can't see anything going on. Two, one, two, three, four. Something like that is how it's going to work. Dude, hang on. Oh, hang on, guy. Hang on. What are you do? What are you up to? And let's firstly adjust the in point because I'm not going two bars when I only need to go one time after time. And secondly, yep, yeah, we're in replace mode. I quite like that sound. Again. That came out all right. I mean, first time out. So, shall I? Uh, add this tune second time round? I will. 
because it doesn't we don't need it first time around because we're going to come up with i'm going to just keep on adding layers uh, we need something a bit more umphy umphy is a technical term um I, am i actually going to use a piano yet i haven't had to yet and Hello. Hello, guy. What? 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 But, but, but harpsichord? No, don't fit. Tank drum? Is that a drum in a tank? Or. This is all a bit in the middle of the keyboard at the moment, so I'm. And... elements of that which weren't as bad as other elements of that no the trouble is now we're, we're actually what's going on is we're just hanging around in the middle of the keyboard and that ain't gonna do it um, we're going to go for uh, I'm quite tempted to have a quick go with a lyric a recording harp Oh, that's nice. Yes, I love harp. But does harp love me? Okay, come on, guy, think. Don't just play, think. Dear, dear. May, okay, maybe I'm going to give in to the temptation and actually have a piano. You know, the thing is not called tank drum tech. It's not called um, whatever else tech, to, toy piano. It's called piano tech. Now, what do I fancy? Are we going to go with, I want a nuts blues? I'm looking for a soft kind of interesting, intimate, uh, wide unison. Oh, God, that's me. Ooh. Oh, it's got that slight... Can you hear that little twang of... I should have been tuned last month, but you couldn't afford to, and so now I'm sounding a little bit dodgy. But it's get It's character. It's character. Ooh. Right. It is such a magnificent instrument, the piano. It just takes over the moment you start playing.
Na. Sounding slightly Alexandre de Pla here. That's not a bad thing. And there's some elements of that which were okay, but there was one or two elements which weren't okay. I <laughs> look in some kind of. I rather like this. Now there's a B natural, or an A natural somewhere. That one. And the downbeat, what's going on here? There's a note which was uh, clashing, because I played an, oh, there we go, look. Is that it? Yeah, there's an A natural, and it should have been uh, an A flat, because I'd done my little harmonic slide from F minor to, F major to F minor. That's better. And actually, that wasn't what I intended to play. Blom, blom, blom. That's what I intended to play. So now I've played it. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, so look, hang on. Can we just remind ourselves we're playing with one piano library here? And it's sounding pretty... Oh, I, I just like it. I'm sorry. I'm finding this quite intriguing. Okay, so look, I'm going to... I'll put a bit of reverb in here. Um, which one shall I go for today? Ah, oh, that's just so... Okay, I always go for lexicon. But, uh, can you hear that bonkers dog in the garden? He barks at pheasants, fireworks, people shooting, and helicopters. And yesterday we had helicopters all morning. He was shooting all afternoon with the old pheasant, followed by fireworks. <laughs> oh! I should have sampled him. Right. Okay. When I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, we're nearly there. I'm not. I'm not gonna. We you know. Egg the pudding any more than I need to, because I think you get the gist of how this uh, works. And it's. Right. Oh, I'm liking this little tune. Okay. Look. I think we can put a bit of reverb on this. Tell you the bit I'm really going to use. Take that down. Doesn't need much on that. It's like one of those little French stories. Um, you know, where kind of. A man waits on a bench to meet his childhood sweetheart. They haven't seen each other for 50 years. Will she recognize him? Will they still feel the same way about each other? <gasps> there she is. I'd recognize her anywhere. That hair. I know it's gray, but I feel this flutter of excitement and love just like I did when I was 22 okay 
Thank you, Pianotech, for helping me tell my little story. So look, what have we got here? We've got a really interesting, different library. There's nothing like it out there, which is anything like this. Uh, it doesn't just do really good pianos. It does sounds you won't hear anywhere else because you've got this wonderful morph and layer thing going on. And you can, you got all this stuff if you buy the big pack. Uh, but you can start with, uh, you know, just a, a piano and then get extra bits and add them on. Or you can go, poof, I'm going to go for the whole thing. An upright called Tacky. No, I'm going to leave it to you to discover. Look, piano takes really, uh, really interesting sound. It's really well done. You've got so much control over so many elements of the action. You can personalize the thing. But I really like this. Uh, uh, the, the morphing and layering thing because you know it allows you to reinvent the piano and make it sound slightly different while still basically playing the piano. So look, um, that's all I've got time for you today. I um, hope you enjoyed this little kind of short, quick dive into the world of piano tech. And uh, if you are not a subscriber of the channel, your choice. <laughs> uh, isn't this where I say please subscribe? No, no. Entirely up to you. See you soon. Bye. That I chose last time. What was that? Did you hear that? That was Siri. Or whatever. Why does Siri just leap into life like that? <laughs> Creepy. Bit scared now. <laughs>